And it's that yard talk 101 What your campus life about Got the cues hopping out And the red setting it out New strolls, signals walking Campus popping pretty off The SGA debate Who next in the presidential office How would the Hampton Union at a and Have time, gonna be live Drum line, provide the beat Told you nation has my heart And you just wouldn't understand To the universities all across the land What's up, world? It's your boy here, Jalil, and it's Yard Talk 101. Your choice for news, events, and the overall scoop of the yard, all right? And I'm at the Elizabeth City State University, all right? It's home of the Vikings. It's Viking Fest, all right? Hey, but without further ado, we're going to let you find out all about what your school got, all right? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Because it's Yard Talk 101. Back Yard Talk viewers, I'm here with Miss Alana Johnson, the Student Government Association President here at the Elizabeth City State University. All right. Alana, yeah. first and foremost, it's campaign season right now. Yes. How does that feel that you were in these shoes last year? Well, firstly, it's good to sit back and watch and see what the new people can bring to the table. Second, it's a relief that you have got your turn behind you and you're moving on and you left a great impact on your community. I love the CSUs because they believe in me. Um, I came here, I'm the first student, um, well, first person to go to college from my family. Okay. And um, I didn't have that guidance. My parents were able to like tell me, okay, this is what you gotta do to make sure that you get through college and stuff like that. So when I came here, I automatically knew that this campus was family oriented and I needed that guidance and support. That's one thing. Another reason why I came to ECSU is because we have so many clubs and organizations on campus. It allowed me to cultivate my talents and um, I was very shy when I came here, but now I'm the miss. I so um, that, that's another thing. And and the teachers, they care for you. And I think that is one of the most important aspects of choosing a university because they don't believe in you, who will, you know? What's up, Yard Talk viewers? I have the pleasure, the honor, to be here with the Chancellor of the University, Chancellor Conway. Chancellor, first and foremost, I wanna say thank you for being on the show. It's a pleasure to have you. Glad to be here, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the work you're doing. I Man, I try, I you know, I that. try. Um, Chancellor, Elizabeth City State University. Yes. Why is this university so special? Well, right now is a really special time at this place. It's a, it's a historical time for the university. We got programs growing like our uh, growing like our aviation science program. Mm -hmm. We've got one of the the few programs between uh, the extreme northeast and South Florida or or uh, D Daytona Beach, Florida, where you can come and you can get your bachelor's degree in aviation science and earn a pilot's license in the process of doing that. Wow. Uh, we've got a, that program has gone global. That program, uh, the faculty in that program are working with um, scientists in and uh, Department of State, U.S. Department of State, and the Kenyan authorities to uh, develop technology that's using lightweight, easily fixable aircraft to help patrol the game reserves there to, to limit the poaching that's going on so that those game reserves are available to future generations. So we've gone global in that concept. Uh, it's a great time. We've got a, a project going in Antarctica. We've got our students actually doing internships, uh, doing global sensing, measuring the, me uh, the melting of the ice caps in, in Antarctica and traveling there. So it's, it's, wow. it's a great place to be. Wow. So the students are global. Yeah, absolutely. That's wow. the world that you're going to live in. That's the world you're going to work in and you've got to be ready for it. That, that's definitely amazing. And, and, and being that you're a chancellor of a university that's doing 
such amazing things, not only locally, nationally, but globally. How does that make you feel? Well, it, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Uh, the people at Elizabeth City State University are, the, are what make it special. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a student body and a, an alumni body that are loyal to the university. They have a can-do at, at attitude about getting things done. And they believe in their university. And this is one of the things that, that keeps me hype every day. <laughs> I can only imagine, I mean, especially when the morale of the campus is up and students want to continue to be great. Absolutely. It can only make you want to just keep coming back every day. Every day is a good day for me. <laughs> now, what's next for Elizabeth State? Well, we're going to continue to grow. Obviously, we're, we've got to work on our enrollment. We want to get people excited about being here so that the, the student body comes. Uh, it, it has to get larger. Uh, it's one of those things that the, the more people that we can attract to us right now, mm -hmm. the better the educational environment is going to become. We're here at Elizabeth City State University. We are one of the 16 institutions of higher education within the UNC school system or the UNC college system of North Carolina. Admissions requirements are as follows. For high school students entering as freshmen is a minimum of a 2.5 GPA from your high school transcript. SAT, we look at at least an 800 off your math and verbal or a composite score of a 17 on your ACT. For any students looking for scholarships, I encourage you to check out our website as we offer various scholarships, some need-based, some merit-based. Some are gonna be more, more so based on how high your GPA or how high your ACT or SAT scores may be. For more information about that, you can find it on our financial aid webpage at www.ecsu.edu. I think Elizabeth City State prepared me uh, extremely well. It was a small family here, uh, and I think that's what I needed at the time. I originally came on an athletic scholarship to play football, but found education in, uh, was my niche. And uh, I think the professors here prepared me well. It was like a family. What's up, Yard Talk? I'm here with SAC, also known as the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, all right, where they're basically the voice of the student athletes here at Elizabeth City. Lauren, yes. that bone marrow drive, explain it to the world. What's going on? Okay, um, blood cancer is the third leading cause of all deaths in the United States, and it also kills more children than any other disease. A bone marrow transplant, transplant can um, help with like leukemia, and 70 other different uh, diseases. And today, we're just swabbing uh, cheeks to see if you are a candidate. So if you um, are fit for like a kid, they'll send your bone marrow to that person and they'll transplant it, to, transplant it to them. Okay, okay. So it sounds like SAC is out here in the community trying to make a difference, not only for the student athletes on campus, but possibly for student athletes that could be in the community and just people in general. As you can see, I got fishing rods around me. You know why? Because I'm here with the fishing team. Yes, I said fishing team, and yes, they do actually fish, okay? We thought about ways where how we can implement the students in different ways than joining, other than joining fraternity and sorority. Have you caught any fish? Swag exclusive. I think the most important thing that I did learn in Elizabeth City State was uh, the aspect of actually teaching us how to fight for what we wanted. Uh, nothing was given to you. Uh, even if they thought that you were good enough, they pushed you to the limit that you didn't even know existed inside of yourself. You guys do your body, student body meetings, totally different. Something I've never seen before. Swag exclusive. It's just a way for the students to unwind and come together once a month to showcase their talents and get out information about their clubs and organizations because we're very involved on this campus. So Michelle, it's Biking Fest and this is right now is where biking pride is at an all-time high. How does it feel right now to be a Viking? It actually feels awesome, Meyer, and it's my senior year. I feel so glad to be a Viking right now. At first, I was kind of nervous because I wasn't used to being away from home. 
But as the year went on, I kind of enjoyed it, and it was great. Okay. I loved it. Okay. Root to the good bros. All right, look, it's Yard Talk, it's the bros, and we have more for ECSU, all right? So sit soon, all right? We got more. My experience in college here at ECSU has prepared me because it taught discipline. Uh, and discipline was a key part of what I, what I do now. Everything you do when you're self-employed, it, it all falls back on how disciplined you are. And it taught me networking uh, skills. My networking ability has really uh, taken me to another level in what I do now. And all that came from my, my training here at uh, ECSU. Would I send my child here? Uh, absolutely. I would. I honestly would because I know one thing is going to take place. They're going to get a chance to develop. I tell people greatness is a process. The key with the process is that you have to have the right environment. Nothing great can be accomplished unless you have the right people around to nurture that greatness. I owe everything that I am and everything that I have to my education here at Elizabeth City State University. And there you have it, the Elizabeth City State University, home of the Vikings, all right? We've been able to give you a true inside scoop of the yard. Everything from a town hall meeting to the fishing team, and we even had a special guest the Chancellor of the University. Until next time, it's your boy, Jalil, and it's Yard Talk 101. Your source for news, events, and the overall scoop of the yard, all right? And remember, chase your dreams or watch someone else live them. Peace. Do you want your school featured on Yard Talk? Contact us on social media at Yard Talk 101 or email us at yardtalk101 at gmail.com.